Hi everybody, it's Kayla, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Make Drastic Changes to a thing I've already spent way too much time on. Today, I want to change the roof a bunch again. I know, I'm sorry, I know. But here's the thing, right? I just feel like it needs to be different, and so I'm going to make it different. Step one, I'm gonna... Um, I think raise each of these roofs up too. I think it will help if it looks a little bit less flat And then I want to take this and I want to like I want to do something interesting with it Okay, so hear me out. I want to like make more exciting stuff happen on this build I want it to look less flat and boring because right now I feel like it looks very flat and boring And I think this is gonna make a huge difference and it already kind of has so I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of proud of myself <laughs> But then these roof pieces kind of serve as like fake. Look at that. Isn't that nice? See? Oh, it makes a huge difference already. Okay, genius. I'm a genius. I've been looking at a lot of houses of like this sort of nature, obviously, um, <laughs> and pictures and stuff like that. And I've kind of found that this is a very common thing. And I think it looks a lot better. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna make a lot of the roof pieces look a little bit more like this. Now that we have the ability to expand this thing out so far, we can do it so easily too. This is the perfect roof to do this kind of thing with because it has that under texture. All our other roof textures don't have that. So if like I put any other roof texture on this, watch this. If I put like this on there, oh, that one works. I picked the, the one wrong one. This one's another thatch roof that works. This one, look at that. Doesn't look as good. But these, it looks so natural and cool. If this let's build was easy, it wouldn't be good, right? It's just, <laughs> it's always gonna take us some time to get there, but we're getting there and we're doing so well. Okay, I honestly think this is really cool. I, I'm impressed with myself for pulling that off. I think that makes a huge difference. Oh my God. It's like night and day. This house is not the same house. It's so much better now. Wow. Okay. I'm proud of myself. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I think that's really good. Not bad team. Not bad at all. I'm proud of myself now. I hated it before. I thought it was so ugly, but I think we fixed it. Okay <laughs> I also put some terrain paint down and I was experimenting with lights because uh, I do want to make sure we have a few lights Around the place and obviously like let's look at it in nighttime because I want to make sure that the the patio areas are lit up nicely um, And I think that these these lights come with the pack. I think they're kind of cool They have that like reddish toned wood we've been using and they're also got some blue on them So it's a win I feel like but I'm gonna go stick them around the walls that have space for them. Even down here, I think. Yeah, that helps. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. I feel sorry for the people that had to watch me struggle to make this house look good the past few parts, but I think we've finally gotten there. Like, I think the outside's actually really, really, really nice now. And we can put some, like, torchy boys down. That is indeed the technical term. Yeah, we'll get a couple of those in, just so that it's brighter down here. At nighttime, what does it look like? Yeah, that helps a little bit. Okay, cool. We'll use torches around a lot of the other parts of the house too, I think is my plan. Now, here's a question. Are we gonna try and build something on this area? I mean, I have to put my stairs back, so let's do that really fast. I think I want railings on them. I think I want railings on them. I don't know. I think it looks bad. Maybe if I like just lowered this down a little bit. Well, that's better. It kind of like walks you straight into the gazebo. I think you're probably gonna get hit in the head though. Yeah, there's no way you can walk onto that. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe if we move this over one so that you don't have to walk straight onto the gazebo or straight under it. Why do I think you're less likely to hit your head now if it looks like that? <laughs> okay, that's better. Wait, now I kind of want to try something else. I kind of want to see if I could like, I think I want it to look like that. I think I'd like it to not have, actually, can I do that? Well, moral of the story here is I want it to not have um, this little piece. I'd rather it be more open there. Yeah, I like that better. I like there just being a square around the gazebo. Okay, and then as far as this bit goes, I have no idea what I want to do with it. <laughs> so I think I kind of want to build something there, but then again, I'm not really sure what? Also, is this a good cover for a hot tub? Imagine having- oh my god, that's like the- this would be the dream. Like, the actual dream. Is that like a light gray stone that kind of matches what I've got already? Honestly, that kind of- sorry, I'm about to expand this more just so I can have more interesting shape. Can I do this and put big glass windows on that? <laughs> I'm changing everything. I'm- it's too much. Okay, that might be better. I don't love it, but I do think it- I like it- I like that a lot better, actually. Yeah, who am I kidding? And then I can put more lights on it. <laughs> All right, that's better. I think I feel better about this now. And this upstairs area has more windows in it. It'll be pretty. I still have no idea what to do with this part. Um, <laughs> I wanted it to come out farther. I liked the idea of it being farther out like that, but I guess we could maybe like have the farther out bit like actually come out farther. Like we could, we could do it like this instead. It doesn't need to be so close over here. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I think I like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. What is this wall doing here? <sighs> Now we have the fun task of trying to light up this whole place. Um, <laughs> sorry. I'm trying to decide if I want to put 
like these little heart boys in here because I think I kind of like the extra interest that it adds but I also can't tell if I'm just doing it to like do more things you know I do think I like it to be honest <laughs> I think now we tackle the inside. Let's start putting lights down. So I already started by putting these lights in, these little tiny boy ones. I might not put them everywhere, but I do wanna put them, oh, this is ugly, hang on. Can I make it like this? Okay, sorry. I'm gonna put them like in the center of the room where I'm gonna put the fans. Cause I'm gonna put ceiling fans in here. And I think it makes a lot of sense to have a light in those ceiling fans, um, even though the game doesn't put one there. <laughs> so, cause I feel like um, most people, like your ce your ceiling fan probably has a, a ceiling light in it too, right? Like if you've got a ceiling fan, it's also a light in the ceiling. Maybe that's not true for every situation, but I think in most cases that that's how it be. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller, I think, though. I don't like how big they are. Yeah, actually, no, make them big. I wanna use some island living doors. I know these kind of have like a mesh thing on them, but I don't even care. Like, that's totally fine with me. Like, you can't actually, oh, you can straight up see right through that. Ah, that's okay. <laughs> they look nice. One into the bathroom, one into the master bathroom, one into the master bedroom. And then we don't have that many actual like closed off rooms in this house either, so that's kind of nice. So that's most of the rooms done. I know that I want to use the island living lights in at least one place, and I like these. And then you size them up, and it's like, whoa, fancy lights dangling through two floors. Wow, you know? And so I want to use those. If we did it this way, we could even get like there's a couple sizes. Whoa, you know? But I don't like it being two sizes because I feel like then, um, oh, actually. I was gonna say it's like too much, but I kind of like that. And then I'll put one of them size down in the bathrooms. This is only a two bathroom house. Oh, oh no, it's three, sorry. <laughs> There's one upstairs too. <laughs> I was like, yikes, we have a four bedroom, two bathroom. Cause the thing is like, that's not actually that bad. Um, but in a house that is this big <laughs> and this nice, I think you'd, you'd expect to have um, a little bit more than two bathrooms. <laughs> I think that's a reasonable expectation if you're planning on buying a house like this one. I don't know what's gonna happen over here, but I'm gonna put a ceiling fan with one of these lights, like in this area, I can always move it. But I think that's a good spot for one. And the whole house is pretty bright now, except for the upstairs. The upstairs isn't very bright. <laughs> if we size down some of these lights and put them around, it'll be fine. There, bright and beautiful. Okay, I don't know where to begin with the furnishing of this house. <laughs> oh boy, I like this house. I feel proud of myself. Okay, I'm sorry, we've, we've come so far. <laughs> Just as a quick recap, we have bathroom, bathroom, obviously bathroom. We've got three bedrooms. We have a master, we have the kitchen area. I'm guessing the dining area, the living area and the center here. Um, I don't know what else, so we'll see. I hate to say it, but I think we should do the bathrooms first. Oh, I should put the darker wood on the inside too. I like that color. That's real nice. I really enjoy these wood floors. I'm not gonna lie. I think they're really good. Okay, I'm getting distracted again. I think I wanna use this stone wallpaper as like a backsplash sort of thing in the kitchen. I think we can definitely get away with that. Get away with that. Can't speak and it'll look really nice. Oh, imagine how good that's gonna be. Okay, and then we'll have counters on this side and this side and then like a fake island because we don't have real islands. We'll have a fake island in the middle. Let's do them now. See, we have colorful ones, but I don't really wanna use them because I'm scared of them. Like that blue is really bright and these are really dark. So I think I might just use like this one because it has that yellow toned wood we've been using. It still brightens the place up and we can do like colorful things else where I don't know. I wish we could put an island in. This is kind of sad. When I said fake island, this is what I meant. So it's still like an island. Um, it's just not official island counters. Why can you see lines in between each piece? Oh boy. Okay, well I like this. I think it looks good <laughs> for now at least. Shall we use some like cool kitchen stuff items? I really like the cool kitchen stuff ones because I want to put um <laughs> I really want to put an ice cream machine in here, okay? And I like the idea of having the cool kitchen stuff things in here. Okay, I want to put another sink this way because I'm going to put it across from the stove. People always question me like why I do that, put two sinks in a kitchen. But listen, anyone who's got a really expensive kitchen, which obviously I cannot relate to, will tell you this. Or if you've seen kitchens at all. In like gourmet, really fancy kitchens, they'll have two sinks, oftentimes one by the stove. You might even sometimes find a faucet like above the stove so you could fill like water to boil and stuff. Um, that kind of thing happens and it's really nice if you have that. Um, I don't, <laughs> nor do any of my family members, but I've seen them before um, and it's kind of cool. So I, I like to do that in some of my nicer builds because it makes sense to me and it helps fill up space. <laughs> so those cabinets don't fill up the whole wall. That's really frustrating. Well, I'm not gonna like separate them like this. That's so ugly. <laughs> I guess, hmm, hang on. And then say I put like that above it. I guess I kind of like that. 
I mean, I don't love it, but I've seen worse. It's so sad. Okay, I like the shape of this kitchen though. I think that's really fancy. I want ice cream. So if you guys didn't know, um, Cool Kitchen stuff came with an ice cream maker and I really think it's stupid but it is kind of fun. Your Sims are really annoying when you have like ice cream makers and popcorn makers and stuff because they like constantly try and make ice cream and popcorn. But you know what? That's okay with me. I'll, you can eat all the ice cream you want, kids. For the record, I was talking to Sims kids, not Sims kids. Like this, <laughs> Sims can eat all the ice cream they want. Uh, you kids watching my video, you can't. Just so all the moms out there know, I'm not encouraging your children to eat all the ice cream they want, I swear. Please forgive me. <laughs> so you see how I'm moving counters and then, oh God. I'm moving counters and then placing objects where the counters once were. <laughs> this is because you can't very easily place things like wherever you want on counter slots. Uh, because The Sims 4 is stupid. So if you move the counters away, you can place whatever you want wherever you want. So I like to do that in The Sims. When I'm trying to alt place things and stuff like that, I'll move the counter. I'll move the counter and then I'll put them back. <laughs> because then you can freely place it wherever you want without having to be interrupted by the game. I'm trying to tell you to stop. So pro tips with Lil Simsy. Uh, what else do I want to put in here? Maybe some more plants. I want to put something. How about the fruit bowl from Parenthood? Yeah, that's good. And it looks so tropical. <laughs> Here's where we have to move things and put them back again. I move it, I place it where it belongs, and then um, I size it. No, God, why? I want it in the center of the island. <laughs> Tiny fruit. All right, that looks stupid, just kidding. We'll just put it elsewhere. Sorry guys, false alarm. I didn't mean what I said. I'm putting it wherever I want. I like that. And see, now it looks like it's placed on both the counters when realistically it's placed like in between three counters. You can never get that with just regular slotting. No, 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 it wouldn't work. <laughs> oh, and there's a door right here out. So, oh, that's so nice. Wow, I'm a genius. All right, I think that's the kitchen done. <laughs> Let's furnish one of the bathrooms and then I can do the rest of them like not in front of you guys. So you don't have to sit here and watch me furnish bathrooms all day because I understand that would be miserable. So I'm gonna put the new flooring that we got in this pack in them because I kind of like it. I also kind of like these walls that we have. They're very, you know, tropical and, and nice. They aren't very colorful though, which is disappointing. Maybe I should try harder. I guess I could put a blue wall. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. We'll get a toilet. To be honest, I don't think I want to use like the island living stuff. Like I love this sink as much as the next guy, you know? I just don't think it fits, um, I don't like it. <laughs> I'd rather put um, something a little bit different in here, I think, although I'm not certain. We'll have to see. Part of me is tempted to make this, like look how cool this could be if we did the, sink like this and then we put like a real sink in there put a nice mirror above it see isn't that absolutely stunning there isn't actually um a shower in here and this door looks right into the toilet but you know what that's okay i was gonna say toilets are people too <laughs> hmm <laughs> i don't know what that means um, but you know what? That's fine too. Don't worry. Just get some nice bathroom clutter in here. It'll look adorable. I probably am gonna want a shower in here, but it's okay to have half bathrooms. The rugs that came in this pack are so bright and so much. I don't think I'm gonna use them very often in the build, but I do kind of like that. That's pretty. Oh, I like it. Okay. <laughs> Now what? I think it helps to have an idea of the layout. So maybe it'd be a good thing if we tried to figure out how we're gonna lay out the rest of the inside. Ooh, that rug fits very nicely. <laughs> hmm, if only it were prettier. This one gives me like major ocean vibes, uh, but the colors on it are <clears throat> So that's disappointing, but maybe we could use that one. Some wicker furniture, <laughs> wicker whims furniture. That's actually a thing in the game, by the way. Hang on, I gotta show you. Wicker whims, that's the stuff that came with laundry day. <laughs> The Sims team has a good sense of humor. <laughs> okay, anyway, I want to, we'll need that. I do think I'm gonna put like two dining areas in this house. So we can have one over here and we'll have another one somewhere else. But oh, can I put a straight up tiki bar outside? Okay, so if you guys maybe have the digital deluxe version of The Sims 4, you might know about the flaming tiki bar. I never use this. I have literally never put this in any single one of my builds, but this is our time. We finally can use the flaming tiki bar. Oh my God. We just got like genuinely excited about the prospect of this flaming tiki bar, but think how fun that's gonna be when we have tiki bar flames shooting out at people. Oh, would that be better over here? <gasps> Wait, that's maybe a good spot for it to go. I know the stairs are in like kind of an inconvenient place, but like, hang on, let's, we'll center it a little bit better. We can make this bigger, that's fine. No, it's, that still works. Your Sims can get through that just fine. I think that'd be a really nice thing to do, like to go hang out on this. <laughs> we'll, we'll even, hang on, look, just so that you don't fall off and die. 
from the back of this. I'll put some fencing around part of it. But you can go sit at the flaming tiki bar and you can look at all the stunning views. You could sit in the hot tub and look at stunning views. Perfect. <laughs> we'll have like a place to eat over here. I think that'll be nice. Or even just like lounge chairs over there. There's gonna be a lot of places for lounging on this build. <laughs> There is no need for this much lounging. No one has ever needed to lounge this much. I kind of like the idea of putting, I realize that what you see like the pillars that are holding it up, but wouldn't it be kind of cool if there was like some glass underneath this so you can like look out at the water? <laughs> Wait, I have a cool idea. Mm, never mind. I like the idea of this. I don't know if it works for right here. Plus, it's kind of fun when like it's over an area where there might be fish swimming around, but like there's not gonna be any fish underneath you. It's just gonna be water. We'll use those elsewhere, maybe in a different build when it makes more sense. How about that? I kind of like the solid teal one. I think the solid teal one might be more exciting for this particular build just because it like makes it very colorful. Okay, I think we've got, that's the whole house furnished. <laughs> We're done. I was gonna say, I think we've got a pretty good idea of what we need to do now. So at least we've got it coming together here. But I think on that part, on that note, I'm gonna cut this part off right here. We made a lot of progress today. We're getting close to finishing. Now that the whole outside is done, like the inside is gonna be a piece of cake. It's the outside that's the hardest part, I think. But like I said, I'm gonna go. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. I want it to be colorful, but not like ridiculous on the inside. So I'm just struggling again but I think I'll make it work. We'll do good. It'll be great. I promise. I swear. Okay. I promise. I hope. <sighs>